Hello YouTube, so today we want to try something different. I took a replay from Solo Rennington only and I'm going over his point of view from Rennington versus gameplay, and then I'm going to comment what I would do and things I think he could improve. So in this matchup, let's go straight to his Obra GG just to find out the runes. He's currently running Press Attack, he's running Triumph, Tenacity, Last Stand, he's running Bone Plating and he's running Second Wind. This is the exact same runes I would take against a gangplank. I think they're very good. Um, just absolutely no changes I would take. Maybe, let's see, he's come. He's against a Heimerdinger and a Morgana. Tenacity is amazing against that. I would take the exact same thing. I think it's good. Now, let's look at the laning phase. So, <clears throat> I haven't seen this replay yet. This is the first time I'm watching it. And this is a pretty interesting matchup. So, if you're playing Renekton versus gangplank, you should not care about taking Q hits early game. A lot of people are trying to be afraid of the Q, dodging them, staying out of range and all that. Stop doing that. Just soak up the damage, heal the Q, you will be fine. He cannot damage you enough. Now, what you do have to be careful about, however, is he can damage you a lot if he gets auto attacks in, or especially auto attacks with his Flame Sword, the passive. So you don't want to get hit by that. But if it's only Qs, you're fine. So try to make sure you don't get auto attacked. Um, see if you can land your Qs on him, like your personal healing Q, call the meek. On the gameplay, that's going to be good because then you heal a little bit more. Or else, just use them on the minions whenever he hits you. Now, also another thing to note is both solo wings and only and gameplay starts in the top lane, which means even if you remove vision, let's just remove vision because we don't need that. I think that's a bit unfair. We should expect the enemy jungler to start bot side and your jungler to start bot side. Your jungler is starting bot side. We know this, which means you could potentially get an early gank. So you want to be pushing, but you don't want to end up in the enemy turret because it. You don't have any benefit from that. And also, you're just very likely to get ganked. And your jungler is most likely not going to mind coming top if you're close to the mid -turret. What you should do here is just farm. And then Q, then the gangplank Q you so you can heal back up. This is fine. He's hitting a uh, fine. It's okay. He should push a little faster maybe, but not too fast. This is okay. He should use his Q more often. Um, you see him auto-attacking all the time, which I don't like. Because he's not using the healing aspect of the Q. And you should never fight Gangplank anyways necessarily. He could go up to him and use to Q on him. But you shouldn't be fighting him. And that's going to be up to free healing per minion. And 9 if it's champions, right? It's not much, but it's a little bit and it helps. It adds up. Now, this is the one thing I talked about earlier. <clears throat> Don't ever walk into the range of the Fire Sword. Because it does a tremendous amount of damage. If you just look at the damage. It doesn't tell... What are this? This tooltip sucks. It does a lot of damage. Don't get hit by it. So far, this is okay. Um, that... Q was bad, I think. He shouldn't hit all the minions so much because right now he might be pushing too hard. And you want to be careful about that. But it's fine if you stop loss to tank. He cannot auto attack like he's doing right now. Because the problem is... Um, I'll show you guys. Let me find the pin. You have the AP pin over here. I'm not, not used to this. Um, problem is if he pushes these minions right now, the next minion wave is all the way down here, which is going to take a while for them to get to the lane. It's going to take about... And the minions take first things to walk about halfway. It's going to take 15 seconds roughly, I guess. 10 to 15 seconds which means he's gonna kill all these minions before they arrive like all of these are gonna die and the minion wave is gonna end up around here this is the worst position you could be against a gangplank because first of all you can't kill his barrels anymore you can't kill him anymore you lose your kill pressure and he can farm somewhat safely you don't want to sit in this position right here especially if you're not diving him and if the enemy joiner can come top because right now you're just putting yourself up to getting ganked from down here Enemy John can come this way up and you will get easily ganked if you're all the way up here. Now, how do you remove all of this? I think that. Exactly. Good. Got it. Okay, so back to the game. Let's see what he does. He don't want to push here. He wants to slow push as hard as possible. Or as slow as possible, sorry. He's lasting only. That's okay. But he might already have pushed a little bit too fast. See what he does. He last hits again. As you see, he's already pushed a little bit too fast. So he ends up in a really terrible position up here. Which was the problem, right? You always want to make sure that you try to end up around this area or pushing it all the way in because right now he's screwed i would actually go so far to say that he should like gangplank push back and hopefully he can get a master gank later on he's already in a bad position but the waves were evenly strong and it's close to the gangplank side so he can just last at this point and the gangplank push back the problem is if he pushes here gangplank can control the wave and just keep it here forever and there's not much you can do about it there's really not much you can do about it also, one thing, if you look, I'll show you guys something with the barrels. Let's say he froze it, as I talked about earlier. Or not froze, but let it push back to him. Then if you look at barrels, one thing you want to do against a gangplank is... Let me get the fucking... Here's the pin. 
one thing you want to do so gangplank's q is a circle around like this let's just paint a nice little circle here it's not perfect and then he's going to put another barrel around till here it's going to start around there and the next, next circle is going to be here right something like this so what you want to do is you want to constantly walk around in this area you want to constantly walk around in this area because if you can constantly walk around just outside of the second barrel range eventually gangplank is going to think oh i can hit him and the second you place down the barrels, you just E backwards or take a step backwards and he wastes his barrels. Even using your E ability is worth to escape barrels because generally his barrels are worth more than your E. And he doesn't have any poke whatsoever without the barrels. As we talked about earlier, his Q alone is not enough to damage you down. So you can just straight up ignore them if you don't get hit by other things. But the second you start getting hit by other things, the Q adds up. Now let's see what happens here. He, st he starts pushing it into Gangplank again, making it even more difficult for him. Um, he can't really do any damage to Gangplank, as you can see. He's just taking a lot of poke right now. This is not the situation you want to be in. I would Q just for healing at this point. Gangplank is low on mana, so that's something. And he's not completely fucked, but I do think that this is a matter where you try... You need to try and abuse Gangplank. So Gangplank... What you want to do against a Gangplank is stop him from getting a Sheen on his first base. If you do that, Gangplank is completely useless and can't do anything. Um, one thing we haven't talked about yet. One thing I forgot to note. Then you're playing Renekton against Gangplank. Your W is generally something you won't use that much. You're mostly going to use your Q, auto attacks, or E's. Mostly Q, by the way, on him. So, using your W to kill barrels is completely okay. Which means you can kill barrels in that 2 health, and Gangplank can't do much about it. And if you continuously do that, he's not going to have damage to ever hit you down. Pre-first base, right? But as you can see right now, because of the wave, because of how everything is going out, Soul Ranks is actually in a bad position. He needs to play it passive. He's losing a lot of creeps. And Gangplank got full control. Now, what he needs to do is be in range of the barrel at all times and be ready to E away, you know? Like, just be outside of the edge, as I talked about earlier, and try to bait out a barrel, because at that point, Kichibi can't do anything. This is good engage. This is good. He does a lot of damage, but the problem is Gragas is coming up. And this is what I've been talking about the whole time, right? Like, you see... You see Renekton... And Gangplank, they're roughly same health. Gangplank, a little more health, but low on mana, it's not necessarily a bad situation. Renekton is a little less health, but he doesn't need mana, so that's okay. The problem, however, is that the wave is so bad for him that he can't push it in. He can't get it pushed back to him. He's just getting completely destroyed by the wave here. And Gangplank got all the control, plus it's super easy to gank Renekton right now. And at this point, he avoids the gank. This is very well played by him. Avoiding the gang, everything. This is good. This is probably the best base he's going to get. The only bad thing, again, is that Gangplank have had a very easy laning phase. And Gangplank will be able to get Sheen on his first back for sure. He should be getting that. Now, let's see what happens. Gangplank is just slow pushing this. That's interesting. I don't really think that's necessarily very good for him. I don't really think that anything happens. So, Rankton comes back from the base. He lost a lot of minions here. Um, Gangplank is way ahead, obviously. Now let's see what happens here. So, what I would do right now is push it in, do as much damage as I can to the Gangplank. The reason I'd want to push it in is because you want it to push back towards you. That's what you want. He's taking a lot of damage, and I think a problem here is, right? So, you gotta realize what's gonna happen here. What does Gangplank want to do? Gangplank wants to base. If you look at the items, Sol Rington got items from base, Gangplank doesn't. Gangplank wants to base right now. Gangplank does not have the money he needs yet for a Sheen. So if you can make him base early, that's good. However, you want to push it in towards him. You want to do some damage to him. And then you do this combo. I would generally suggest you to E into him. Then all the W. It does more damage that way. And another thing I think is very big here. Uh, a big mistake is Gangplank's obviously running bone plating, right? What you want to do against bone plating is you engage twice. So you E in towards him. You Q, you E out. You don't take much damage. He doesn't take much damage. But Bone Plating goes down. Because look at the W from Rennington right now. It doesn't really do damage because of Bone Plating. I'll just play it really slowly. Like, look how little damage it does because the Bone Plating just soaks it up. And then you see him auto-tagging. And it does very little damage due to the Bone Plating. That's a full Bone Plating, by the way. And overall, you just end up taking a somewhat bad trade due to it. Because you're also taking a lot of minion damage. And you don't need that. Now, he queues on the minions. I think that's something I would always suggest. A lot of people are like, oh my god, he just, just raids on minions. I think that's good. 
um, cause he healings. The main aspect of Renekton is to heal. I would just spam my Q all the time here. I think that's a mistake. He's getting ganked right now. Uh, this is unfortunate. I don't think there's anything else he can do here. It's unfortunate. Again, the lane's still in a bad position the whole game. It's been into the Gangplank's tower. So that is why he's getting ganked. That's why he's easy to kill. Doesn't have flash. Isn't in the enemy turret. Uh, in a position you generally don't want to be in. Like this. Right? What you want to aim at is... Let's say the wave is here. You build up two waves. One and a half. Because some of the minions will die. So let's just paint some minions here. This is minions. All of these. So this is your minions, right? Let's say two of these dies. Two of these two dies. But you have another wave coming in. So you have another six minions coming in here, right? Then you're going to have like... Nine... 10, 8 minions, like that. And then you push all the minions in. It hits the enemy gangplank's turret straight away. You push it all the way in, so it smashes into the turret. So let's say these minions, they go into the turret. They all die. They disappear. The next wave pushes out. It's going to be around here again. So basically, this is, this is your new minion wave. They're going to be here. And gangplank's new minion wave is going to be yellow. It's going to be, just let's just say here. Because if you constantly push it in the direction where you can actually gather a minion wave back to the middle of the wave, you're going to have continuously lane pressure. You're going to be able to get vision out. Whenever you kill these minions, you push it into his turret. You're going to be able to go out, get vision, maybe kill the crap, get back to the lane, find out does he have vision or not? Can we gank him or not? Should I call my jungler to help or not? And then also the other thing you could potentially do, you could have ganked mid as well if that was a good opportunity. Um, he's going to be back in the lane, the outwards, in the middle of the lane, which is the most difficult situation for him to be in because he doesn't have wards. So you're going to have your nice wards down here. You can see the jungle in good time. He's not going to know shit. You're in an even position in the lane that you're having all advantages. And every single time you push into his turret, he might lose some minions and you're going to be continuously healing with your Qs. So that's what I would aim at doing. I think that's something very important. Right now, if you just look at the laning phase, GP is way ahead. Be getting a good gang in, which is very nice. This could be a, this could be what saves the lane. I do think this is exactly what he needs. I'm gonna watch it again. Um, okay, this backfired almost. No, this this is good. This is really good. This is really good. So the thing is, it it doesn't look that good. And the reason for that again is we go into the fight here. Rankton is always gonna have bone plating right now. You want to get the bone plating out. It's really really important that you get the bone plating out. And that doesn't happen. Also, you need to try and kill barrels. So what you want to try and do is time your W, but when you can kill the barrels, you can still get that. Do I think you necessarily misplayed this much? Not really. Um, it was a small misplay here and there. Right here, right now. But I do think it's a thing you have to do because you're really far behind. You're two levels down. I don't know how the XP is, but you're two levels down and he Gangplank has Sheen on the first base. Which means you're completely fucked. You can't do anything. Um, you'll lose every single trade. Getting this fight is very, very good for you because Gangplank is two levels up on you, one level up on Master Yi. So if you win this fight, you get kill, you get assist, and you get a shit ton of XP, which is very, very important. You get a lot of XP here, which is crucial. Um, very good all-in, I guess. Could have been played slightly better, but the result is great. However, that's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Tell me if you guys like me even doing these kind of videos, telling what I would do beforehand, watching somebody else who is a personality, and comparing it and kind of talking about what does he do wrong? What would I do instead? Maybe there's even points that I'm wrong at. If you find something you think I'm wrong at, please point it out in the comments. I'd love to know. And I'll see you guys next time. Also remember to smash the subscribe button. Peace, boys.